And welcome to another episode of the Albana Rental Beer Review. We have an unboxing. My daughter's listening to uh, DuckTales if you're wondering what's going on. Anyway, three beer mails came in from uh, Steve. Apparently there's a fourth that's in Mississauga right now. It's a lot of beer. It's a lot of beer. Um, so, let's uh, see what we got, shall we? Um, let's start with this box here. So first from uh, Four Winds Brewing Company, we have Triplicity, which is their Belgian triple. Then we have Nectarpus, Nectarpus from Four Winds, which is a dry hopped uh, sour. Actually, Ontario is getting uh, a bunch of dry hop sours right now too, so it is a style that seems to be on the rise. What do we have here? This is from, this is a collaboration with uh, Four Winds and the Com Commons Brewery, Common Winds Apricot Brett Ale. And these are all 750 milliliter bottles, so I'm going to try and uh, talk some guys into coming to visit for uh, some beers from work. Come after work, have a beer, go home. Um, Ridge Brewing. Uh, this is an English pale ale, uh, English brown ale, sort of Cafe Morena. Fairly new brewery. I've actually talked to the owner of this brewery a few times. Um, wanted me to review all of his lineup, so looks like we might get some more of them done. Um, Barstool Bitter, which is an ordinary bitter, according apparently, an ordinary bitter, which uh, is actually kind of what they do by the ABVs um, in in the UK historically. Your type of bitter was done by the by the ABV. So from Ridge Brewing again, Barstool Bitter, four uh, percent alcohol bitter. I'm actually intrigued to try that. I'm excited to try that. Really. Um, from Ridge Brewing, Chupacabras, which is an Irish amber. It, wait a second. Okay, so it's an Irish amber ale called Chupacabra. Well, Chupacabra is a, a Spanish word. It's a legend. It's, a, it's about the goat sucker. Are you saying us Irish boys are goat suckers? I don't suck no goats, buddy. Don't suck no goats. Uh, what do we got here? 2016 Singularity by I can't I can't read this um, I can't tell who it is mm. oh it's Driftwood okay let's see if I can read it better on the camera not really that is one of the worst oh wait there we go there we go I can't, uh, I can't make it out. I, this is one of the worst uh, color schemes I've ever seen for a bottle. Uh, I just know it's Driftwood and it's called Singularity. That's all I know about it. And lastly in this box is right here from Ridge Brewing. This is their Black Mamba Milk Stout. Um, I know the owner of the brewery gave these to Steve a long time ago. So I don't know if the Milk Stout's going to have held out. Everything else should be fine. But the milk stout itself, I don't know. Everything else is beer styles that won't actually spoil. That one might. Uh, due, to the, uh, due to the lactose in it. Uh, next we'll do the white box. What we've got in the white box? We have Stanley Park Windstorm West Coast Pale Ale. So Stanley Park is a brewery I had never even heard of until they were bought out by, uh, who was it, Labatt that bought them. So I haven't heard anything about them, and I'm going to get to try my first Stanley Park beer. I'm excited about that, to be honest with you. Um, what else do we have here? Odyssey Nitro Porter from Phillips. I always love nitro beers. Uh, I don't hear a nitro widget in there, so I don't know what they did. I don't know if they did it like, uh like Mill Street where there's just a piece attached to the bottom um, but intriguing very intrigued on a nitro beer 
<laughs> Philips Amnesiac. Now, see, I've had this before. I didn't quite like it. I don't know if I'm going to re-review it or if I'll send this off to uh, Lee Russell or somebody. But here's something I've noticed. This is an intriguing size can. I mean, these are, what, 473s? Yeah, 473. And you would expect this to be a 500, but it's a, a 568. I've never seen that before. Um, yeah, alrighty. Anything else in this box? I think there's a couple more in this box. Yeah, here we have uh, Collect Experiences, Not Things from Dead Frog. This is the Red Dragon Red Logger. Um, so not not expecting much out of this other than it just being drinky and mal drinkable and malty, and I'm I'm a hundred percent good with that. That's uh, sometimes you want that in a beer, and when I get around to that one, that's what I'm going to want. Uh, Phillips Short Wave West Coast Pale Ale. I love that Phillips is doing a lot more cans now. It's it's so much better, first off, for beer mails, second off for the consumer, and third off for the brewer itself. Like, everything is cheaper that way. Ooh, four win another four wins. This one is their Oat Porter. wonder if they do a lot more of these small bottles, because these small bottles would be the way to go. Those 750s would be expensive as fuck, and they're hard to ship. Um, what do we have here? We have here is from uh, Province of Canada, Chilliwack. Old Yale Brewing. Okay, I've had a bunch of Old Yale stuff. Uh, now, this is the Yeti Stout, which I've had before, but not this version. This is the Yeti Stout White Stout. So, Yeti White Stout. Kind of looks like me right now. Uh, especially when I walk around naked. Next, we have Granville Island's 1-2 Punch Belgian IPA. Now, I've always heard that uh, if you get a Granville Island bottle in the... Ooh, a new cap for the fridge, too. If you get a Granville Island bottle in the big bottles, that they're actually really good and worth uh, drinking. Oh, here's Phillips and their weird... Uh, their weird friggin' uh, alcohol bottles. Uh, I do believe... Is Phillips, is Phillips the one that also has a distillery in BC? Um... If, they, if that is the case, that, that would make sense for these bottles. But this is the Serial Killer Imperial Rye Lager. Two more beers in this box. We have a Whiskey Barrel Age Porter from Powell Street. I don't think I've ever had anything from Powell Street, to be honest with you. Do they have a cap? No, they just have a gold cap. Just a gold crown. Okay, last but not least out of this box is Juxtapose Wild IPA from Four Winds. So, Four Winds seems to be uh, BC's, BC's version of Bellwoods from the things I hear. Uh, them and Moon Underwater. I hear Moon Underwater is the other one from BC that everybody has to try. Whoops. Okay, last box. What do we got in here? We have... Ow, ow. Oh yeah, he sent a Peroni glass. Mm. So there's a Peroni glass. Uh, I, I am a big collector of glasses. Don't drink and drive. Well, I can't drive anyway, so... I'm a big collector of glasses, so I love when I get, uh... When I get some, to be honest with you. What's this guy? This is La Maison... The House Wild Saison. The Maison Wild Saison from Four Winds. Uh, Category 12 Brewing. I did not know Category 12 actually bottled. I thought they were all, they were all uh, growlers, but they're Wild IPA. I don't think there's anything else in this box. I don't know for sure. Oh wait, here's one. 
This is Phaedra Belgian Rye IPA from Four Winds. And I think that might be it. Oh, wait. I was wrong again. One more. This is the 20 pounder double IPA from Driftwoods. And I must say, this is the coolest label I've ever seen on a beer. That, that sticker alone must be fucking expensive and hard to do. Like, um, if you're not hands, even if you were hand sticking these, these would be almost impossible. A machine must hate it too, though, because of all the little cutouts and stuff. But that's a beautiful fucking label. And uh, I do believe that is the end of my boxes from what he sent this time. Hello, little lady, what's up? Oh, there was a there was a scotch glass too from uh, from fire oh uh, big bubbles big bubbles yeah from Johnny Walker well don't pop it if it hurts alrighty guys thank you Steve thank you guys for watching bye bye.